Thank you for tuning in. My name is Bruno Patron and I'm a professional artist living in Northern Ireland. During my teenage years in the 1970s, I used to be a graffiti artist in London. My graffiti artist days are long gone now, but I still hold a fascination and appreciation for graffiti and murals to this day. So I was thrilled to be given the opportunity to see the Peace Wall Cooper Way Belfast for the first time in 2017. I greatly admired the graffiti and murals on display, but was overwhelmed by the austerity of the Peace Wall's physical appearance. The Peace Wall Cooper Way was first constructed in September 1969, and its sole purpose was to keep the Protestant and Catholic communities apart. Over 50 years later, the Peace Wall is still keeping those two communities apart. However, it has also become the canvas with which graffiti artists, muralists and the general public can express themselves on a construction made of wire, corrugated fencing and concrete on a wall that extends to 50 feet or so into the sky and is half a mile long. Regardless to how grim the construction of the Peace Wall is, it is an awe-inspiring place for me because of the combination of beautiful art, the austerity of the construction itself, and the social statement it makes of two communities that clearly had and continues to have considerable difficulties living alongside each other. When I first visited the Peace Wall, I was frustrated that it was not possible to see the whole wall in one go, because it sweeps round out of view from where you are standing. Which had me wondering, what if someone were able to shrink the Peace Wall so that the whole wall could be seen in one viewing, as opposed to having to walk half a mile to see all the graffiti and murals? What would a miniaturised peace wall look like? This thought then inspired me to paint a depiction of the whole wall as accurately as possible, placing every piece of graffiti and mural in the correct order from the top of Cooper Way to the security gate at the bottom. I started the painting in March 2017 and completed the work in November 2021. Four years of artistic work and effort. I was determined to have a miniaturised version of one of the most popular tourist attractions and one of the most important historical sites in Northern Ireland, and to also one day exhibit in Belfast. In 2019, I had completed depicting the graffiti and mural part of the Peace Wall painting and made another visit to the wall to check the accuracy of my work. To my surprise and immense disappointment, the graffiti and murals on the Peace Wall I had seen in 2017, and had spent two years depicting, had been completely sanded away, destroyed forever, and a new display of graffiti and murals had taken its place. Once my shock and disappointment had subsided, I realised that my painting had become a historical record of what the Peace Wall looked like prior to it being sanded away in August 2019. I discovered the reason for the graffiti being sanded away was an exhibition of photographs of walls around the world had been held by a German art gallery and Roger Waters of the progressive rock band Pink Floyd. Once the exhibition was finished, all the photographs pasted along the Peace Wall were sanded away, along with the old graffiti and murals. Belfast City Council partly funded a new display of graffiti and murals, and these are as vibrant and as thrilling as the old artwork. It is sad that years and years of graffiti and murals are simply destroyed, lost forever, but it is what street art is about. It is the territory it resides in. Street art evolves and constantly changes over time as new graffiti artists and muralists stamp their brand onto public walls and public services. The nature of the street art beast is to come and go, be replaced and disfigured. 
painted over and lost to a new generation of artwork and expression. It can never remain static. It is a constant work in progress. And of course, it will always have the uneasiest of love-hate relationships with authority that may accommodate graffiti and murals in some areas and at certain times, but not always in others. That, as I say, is the nature of street art. My piece wall painting is on nine separate panels that, when locked together, is 30 feet in length and 2 feet in height. I originally set out to paint a painting of the whole of the piece wall in Cooper Way with the intention of visualising what the whole construction, including the graffiti and murals, would look like in one view. And my painting achieves that extremely well. My painting enables the person viewing such a dramatic construction with the stunning art that once graced its surface prior to the sanding away of the graffiti and murals in 2019 an opportunity to visualise what it looks like in one view without having to walk half a mile to try and have a sense of the Peace Wall's strange beauty. Even though the art displayed on the Peace Wall now is totally different from the display I depicted, the viewer of the painting still nonetheless receives a visually powerful impression of a politically and socially charged site but in a much smaller scale. Thank you for taking the time out to view my video, and I sincerely hope you will go and see my painting depiction of the Peace Wall once a venue has been agreed upon to exhibit the work. Once I have exhibition details, I'll post these on my website, which is www.patronart.co.uk. My Facebook page, which is Bruno Patron Arts, and my Instagram, which is at patron underscore arts. I can be emailed at bruno at patronarts.co.uk. Thank you again and goodbye. Thank you.